Over the past two and a half years, I've made a huge amount of content that I delivered to a relatively small audience, showcasing my personal image and created a brand that enabled me to scale two businesses past eight figures. Here's five things that I learned along the way. Number one, as an entrepreneur, the point of doing content is generating revenue, not chasing vanity metrics. You gotta think about it over the long term and realize that a small amount of output now can mean a large amount of input later. Recently, I just made a $35,000 sale and someone who has $3 million to spend on generating a new business with an offer that will be extremely lucrative, which is a coaching business, which is gonna be like a $150,000 offer with someone who has legit skills in a very, very niche area and it will sell very, very well. That person paid us 35K just to do the audit and they came from a referral from someone who just listened to our podcast. So putting out the content is laying the seeds and the foundation for your future successes. Number two, authenticity is the only thing that plays long term. Anything else and eventually they're gonna see through you. You can only pretend to be someone else for long enough. Eventually people will see contradictions in who you are and what you say, even if it's innocuous, even if it has nothing to do with any sort of political affiliations, they will start to feel that you're not telling the truth. And as soon as that happens, your personal brand is cooked. Number three, maintaining an ethical stance will always bring you much better longer term results than doing anything immoral or weird or dodgy that's gonna bring you a short term game. I get offers all the time to sell things that would make my company an incredible amount of money. However, I'm not really sure that those things are very ethical to sell. So foregoing a short term game ensures that your brand long term stays what you want it to be and you can have integrity and every time you pick up the phone, you're not worried it's gonna be someone screaming at you wanting their money back. Number four. Don't engage in online drama. You do not have to interact with trolls. You can just scroll right by them. Believe it or not, on social media, you are capable of not engaging in someone who you disagree with, even if it's innocuous or if it's a really big deal. There's an old saying, which is, there's no need to argue with fools, okay? So just scroll right past, keep going, chill out, maintain your brand, and make sure that your message is consistent and just don't waste your time. Number five, you can't be everything to everyone, so there's no point trying. You have to kind of be true to yourself and you know, hold strong positions about things that you're passionate about. And sometimes holding those strong positions will detract people from you, and sometimes they will attract people to you. But again, it all goes back to being authentic and being consistent. So if there's a hill that you're willing to die on, then you better make the stance to die on it. But if you're not willing to, then there's probably no point even saying it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I've made a lot of content. So we have cultivated some things that we think that you will like, and they'll be right here.